Welcome back. In this video, let's learn how to make a GET request with the JSON server package. In the previous video, we had a look at db.json, which contains an array of products and an array of reviews. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make GET requests to access this data. Learning JSON server is all about learning how it exposes the various endpoints for us to make requests from the client. Making a GET request is the simplest of them all, so let's start with that. In the previous video, we navigated to localhost port 3000, which is the homepage for our JSON server. Now to access the list of products, all we have to do is navigate to localhost 3000 slash products. This will serve the array of 10 products from our db.json file. Similarly, if you visit slash reviews, you get the list of five reviews. As you can see, with zero coding, we have set up a REST API. By the way, products or reviews in the URL corresponds to the entries in our JSON, products and reviews. When prototyping, it is common to have a list detail pattern. So you would showcase a list of products and on click of a product, you would show the details of that individual product. The backend would typically provide a separate API which accepts the product ID and returns details about that product. With JSON server, it is as simple as appending the ID of the object in the array to the URL. So if you want just the first product, navigate to localhost 3000 slash products slash one. Now the response is not an array, but instead one single object where product ID is equal to one. If we navigate to slash five, we see the object corresponding to product ID five in db.json and the products array. Similar is the case with reviews. Navigate to slash reviews slash one and we see the object corresponding to review ID one. As a front-end developer, you can make GET requests to these endpoints and fetch the necessary data in your component. In the next video, let's take a look at filtering data when making a GET request. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.